everybody. It's Leslie Ray. Welcome to Leslie Ray's Crafty Gig. Today is um, July 27th and I'm still celebrating Christmas in July and I wanted to share with you a very cool ornament that I actually found last year and it had frustrated me to no end trying to figure out how to make these these little things look like bugles. They're not bugles but you can't eat these. Well, I guess you could, but they're not very tasty. But I wanted to make this, and my original ones looked like this. It, I couldn't get it to, to do its coney thing, um, and I figured out how. So I want to share that with you. If you want to play along with me, you can use book paper like I am if you want to. This is just some sheets of book paper um, that I took out of an old book. I think these would be very lovely with um, double-sided paper, kind of like the paper I was using last week, like this. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool? Double-sided, like that. Or, um, ooh, or this one. Remember that one? Do double-sided ones. Um, or it would look very cool with um, Christmas wrapping paper. Do you have any leftover wrapping paper remnants? Lots of cool ways to do this. Um, I'm going to take these sheets. And I'm not even going to worry. See how they have a rough edge to them? I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to... And some of them are even written on out of this book that I'm using. I'm not going to worry about that either. I'm just going to make sure they all kind of kind line up over here on the side. And I'm going to make a trim on them at two and a half. And then I'm going to trim them at two inches. So it'll be two and a half by two inches. Okay, so you get pieces like this. If you wanted to, um, you could tear them. You don't have to cut them. You can tear them. I'm just trying to make it run a little quicker, so I'm cutting them. I'm not going to cut a whole bunch, but for each star that we make, you're going to need 20 of these. So that's why I was working on that so that you I, you didn't have to watch me make 20 of these. Aren't you happy that I'm not making you make watch me make 20 of these? I know you are. You see, I already made a bunch. So is everybody hearing me okay? And seeing me okay. I'm talking to people who are in the chat over on the side over here. And we had a horrible time getting in here. And now my chat looks like it's frozen. So. Good grief. If somebody would say hi, that would be cool. Y'all can hear me, but can't you? Let's see if I get it to do it out there. I'm going to try opening another piece of or another chat over here to the side. Now, I found this on Pinterest and just recently pinned it. But. Ah, thank you guys. Sorry. I don't know what's going on with the chat. Um, but she did some things that I thought were kind of odd. And one of them was she used hot glue. I am using crystal lacquer. This is an excellent glue for um, doing some really cool three-dimensional things. It's called 3D crystal lacquer. But it's also just a great glue. Um, for instance, one of the things I use it for, for 3D effects and stuff, is like when I gloss the eyes on things like this. You see his eyes and nose are glossed. Um, love using them for that. But, I was just showing about crystal lacquer gin. Uh, usually I use it for eyes and noses and things like that. But, um, 
it's also just a great glue. And so that's what we're going to use it for tonight. So the trick to making these cones, um, which eluded me before, is this. Here is your rectangle. You're going to make your cone have a side. So it's going to have this side. Okay. So remember that this, this corner is for the cone-ish part. And then this is going to wrap this way. And then you're going to put your glue here. And I just put usually like a half inch swath of glue. And this is going to come around. And when it does, you're going to fix it where you don't have a gap here. It looks like it just goes nice, smooth, smooth cone-ish circle. You see that? So let me show you. And I like using this brush. You can use any kind of brush. Um, later when I'm done crafting, I will degum this with, I could have been putting it in water and getting some of it out. But I'm going to just use some acetone or fingernail polish remover to get the gunk out. I've been, I've been arting with this all afternoon. So what I'm going to do is on one of the short sides, I want this side because I'm going to decorate this with some glitter and stuff. So I want this side on the end to be my, my finger side that I'm going to use to remember to turn my, my cone on. So I'm going to put glue on this side. So I'm putting my glue on. See my glue? Okay. And now I'm sticking my brush down. And I'm going to curl this way. And then roll it on around. My rectangle gem is two by two and a half. Okay, and I'm going to put that information um, in a post probably on Sunday because I have an altered project post on Saturday. Um, and I also have a download for y'all. Um, it's the star bottom that you do, that you'll use to do your uh, building on. Two by two and a half inches. I guess you could do them in centimeters and make it's a bit of bits of ones, but I'm um, do centimeters. But wouldn't that be precious? Yes. Once you figure out how how to roll these little suckers, they roll like a piece of cake. But last year, I really wanted to show you guys this in my Christmas crafting. And I could not, I could not make a cone to save my life. <laughs> I kept trying to make a cone, and the cone would not make. It just wouldn't make. So, and this paper is not super brittle. But it's, it's okay, Brittle. That's funny, Lee. You're, you're by, bi, you're bimetric. <laughs> Lee was telling us that when she crafts, see, she's from, she's from another country. When she crafts, she sews and in inches but she crochet or let's see she says when I craft and sew I do everything in inches crochet and knit temps and weight and metric well my my useless information that I came out of schooling with is that one inch equal 2.54 centimeters and with that information let me tell you I am deadly with a calculator and conversions 
Okay, so does anybody have any questions about making making the cone? Have you seen me make enough of these? And see why I like this glue? This glue just glues it right smack down. It's a great paper glue. No questions. Okay. Oh, let me show you. You became a rocket science, right? Let me show you what I meant about it not going all the way around. Hang on. I, I was going to show you that. Okay. If you put down your glue and you don't get it right, let's see if I can do it now. No, I can't do it now without it getting it right. Let's see. That's when I do this one. If I, What tends to get it wrong is if I put it in the middle. See how it doesn't line up pretty? See how it makes that, that angle there? Okay. Having having this and making it almost make the square right there is essential into making a beautiful cone. Right? Okay. So, there's our cones. We feel very conical. Now what you need is a three inch star. And before you get all freaked out, look, I made you a template with lots and lots of three inch stars. They're three by three. They're wonderful. So I'm going to put that as a PDF download for you. But you need a three inch star. Okay. Let's see. Let me move these guys this way. You're welcome. Now, what you're going to do is put these on here. Like this. And notice I'm not going all the way in. And the reason I'm not going all the way in is because when you go all the way in, you lose the area to put these in. Okay? And you want these to go into the center. So I think what I'm going to do is glue in the innies first. Okay? So glue our innies in first and then come back out with our outies. You want to make one of these right now? Okay. Go get it. No. All right. So I'm going to start with our innies. Let's do the innies first. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to use the crystal lacquer to put this down. You could use um, three and one. Oh my gosh, that would be perfect for this as well. Okay. Three and one would be perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm letting it kind of sit for a second. Yay. They had giant ones. I didn't flatten the tip. Here, let me pull it up. It's just sitting there. Yeah. It's just sitting there. And see, it's already... It's already the... This glue sticks the paper to it nice. Very nice. Which I'm sure that's why she was using her hot glue gun was because she wanted the immediacy of it. But this is not having an issue. And I'm going to pull this one out because I want it to have a little bit of a, a noticeable outage. I think these are fabulous.
If you follow me on Pinterest, um, I'm Leslie Ray on Pinterest, just like it is in the title. And actually, there may be a space between Leslie and Ray. I think there is. And it's under my um, Creative Crafters board. But I will, I will provide a link to the lady who inspired me. And then I'll also provide you a link to this really huge star that was made for, like, the door of an entrance. See, we've got them all on there now. Um, Dawn, you can get that glue. My mother carries um, Sakura Crystal Lacquer in her store. It's cutandpastememories.com. If somebody wouldn't mind typing that in. And now I'm going to fill in here, okay, to give it some more definition. And the way I'm doing that is I'm gluing on the back of my star. And I'm going to put this here for fill-ins. Oh, crud. Is it? Here, I'll, let me, I, I'm going to flash you a slide. Here we go. Sorry, guys. I'll flash you a slide. Cutandpastememories.com. She carries Sakura. Sorry, I, I guess it decided to bump me out. I logged in and I had allowed links and then I guess it bumped me out. Sorry, guys. That's why we make slides, isn't it? This glue is great. Um, you can use it to attach things to surfaces that don't normally, are not paper. You don't have to use it for paper to paper. Um, like, I was altering some old luggage, um, putting tissue paper and white paper on it, and... Um, I was using this to put it on there. Um, I've used this to to do wood. I've used this to um, all kinds of applications on glass. Works great on glass. You've seen this made with corn husk. Very cool. I think I've just used more of these than I needed to use, but that's okay. I wasn't paying attention. I guess not. Okay. I guess I used the right amount. I was worried I had overused here. Let's see. There we go. Yay! Look how pretty. How cool is that? 20 of them, yes. Let's make another one. Let's make two before we start decorating them. Okay. So, I think I have enough already cut. Or already. Let's see, how many do I have already done? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Cool, I have enough. Guess what I'm doing after the show? I'm sitting and I'm watching a movie with my husband. And I'm making some more tubes. <laughs> tube me, tube me, tube me, right? I think it will be very cool this Christmas to have a tree with upcycled ornaments all over it. Yes, we're going to do some glittering here in just a minute. And I've got some other fun things for the centers. You are you are ahead of me already, Cheryl.
I know. And it's beautiful glitter, too. It's chunky glitter. It's beautiful. I think it would be gorgeous with wide ribbon. Yes, post it, post it, post it. Hey, stick it on my Leslie Ray fan page. We'd love to see that. Yeah, our canvas ribbon. So see, very cool. I think this time, I mean, I love, I love this shape. I love how it's a, a fat star. But I think I'm going to make these go out just a little bit more so we have more star shape pronounced. What do you think, guys? That's what I think. Yeah, the, the sky is the limit of what you can do with these. If you look in that board, I have tons and tons of... Um, rolled paper ideas because I adore paper and I have lots of lots of examples of paper and uh, paper is probably one of my favorite crafting supplies that and my dies and I think uh, I think having a bunch of these stars all over a tree would be very cool Your son's fingers. Oh no. Lee. Yeah. Or you could put them back to back and make it, you know, just really starry on both sides. And of course the glitter with my my reflectors would be awesome. Okay, see how I made this one have its its radiators a little further out. Yeah. So, oops, here we go. The second layer I found works better if you stick the glue on it. There we go. Oh, and actually, this opens it up. It makes it flatter. That's kind of interesting. Hang on. Hold the phone. Look at this. It makes it flatter. That's kind of cool. Only I miss the, the fullness of this. This one I'm going to need more cones. It makes it bigger, but not as full. Yeah, I like the fuller one. I think we're going to have to make another layer on this one. Because, see, there's white stuff showing, and that's bugging me. This one will need more, this one will need more layers. Let's see. There's one there. <laughs> glitter hides a multitude. Well, it does. I, I agree. I believe Andrea Curry taught us that. Crafty craft, um, crafty craft war veteran champion, and many of our personal diva friends. But. We will have glitter. There will be glitter. Don't worry. There will be glitter. But I think we need more floof. Floof is the, the term here. I think our, our star needs more floof. Here we go. Let's floof it up. 
I have not got to see Craft Wars except vicariously through someone giving me a play-by-play. -play. Um, I don't have regular cable. Um, I rarely get an opportunity to watch it. The shows I like to watch normally um, can play back for free on the internet. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lee. Um, and so I... I don't get to um, I don't get to see it unless I pay for it, and I haven't slowed down long enough to buy the one with Lisa and Andrea. But if I paid for anybody, anybody, I would I would pay to see Lisa and Andrea because you know it's Lisa and Andrea. Thank you, Lee. You're very sweet. That makes. Lee, Lee, you're you're my fifth offer <laughs> to go to Craft Wars. <laughs> I've had several author offers to do this, and uh, it really wasn't something I was thinking about. Um, but you know, you have most of them taped. Yes, I do have a VCR. Actually. What did they make on um, on that one? I happen to know what they did on that one. There, it was, and y'all help fill them in because I know kind of what things were. I haven't actually got to see the projects it's themselves, except for some of the snippets. Um, it was called Alter or Falter, and or Falter or Alter, one of those. And they, one of the things they did was make a. A fanciful box like a fairy box and there's no it wasn't a doghouse and the second project was uh, for a wedding and they made a tree that served as a, a wedding wish project yeah it was it sounded really cool when I was listening to it like I said I listened while someone gave me the play-by-play -play. <laughs> so and then the one that aired this week was a Texas crafter. And, um, and she is in a group of ladies that meets a couple hours away from here. So, well, good night, Jack. Um, be sure to watch the replay. I'm going to post it on my, on my, um, whatever you call that thing, blog. I'm going to post it on my blog. And um, I'll put the pattern there and the links to the um, where I got this lovely inspiration from. So, yes, Margaret and Deb. And they're Texas girls. So, I was very excited to see Texas girls win. Um, I'm sorry, I know, I think Margaret is, um, or Margot, I'm not sure how she says her name. I think she's one of our our circle of, of crafty people. I remember seeing her before. Um, and I'm sorry, she did not win, but I'm glad if somebody had to win, it was a Texas girl. No, they're really close. I live about a stone's throw from Marion Smith now and, and all that. So, okay. I've added some extra fluff to this one. I think it needs one more. And then I think we'll call it good here on this one. Yeah, I like it. I like it with the extra fluff. I didn't like it with not enough fluff, though. And, the, of course, the thing you want to do is glue it to your work surface. Right there. What do you think? I know. The craft stash is amazing. So, okay. So here, here's the plan. This is what we're fixing to do now. I got extra of these. I have to put these in my things to do while I sit on the couch stash. There's a glint up here. Okay. I have stuff. 
first what I want to do is use, are you ready? Are you ready? Can you stand it? <gasps> Ooh. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it lovely? This is from alteredpages.com. It is German glass glitter. Yum, yum. I'm going to make my string with this. This is um, DMC metallic thread. This is one of my favorite things. I usually buy about two of these a year. It frays really nicely. Um, so I don't, I don't recommend using it for, um, you have to put a knot there if you don't want it to. A knot is important. But this is great. Now, I have a buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. These are buttons galore buttons. And the big button bonanza. Um, mommy carries these in her store. These are dress it up buttons. And they're the plastic ones that are gold and silver. She does not carry those in her store. And then this. And I'll give you a link to this. These are off of this collage sheet. Now you see there's all kinds of other holidays on this collage sheet. It's mini images. AP 689 and it's from alteredpages.com. Okay, run altered and pages all together. I cut these out with my one inch hole punch and we have these to play with for centers. And see, won't those be cool? And you can have bigger ones. Okay, so first let's glitter. Let's glitter, glitter, glitter. This is going to be our string. Okay. I'm going to retire this brush for glittering because I want a little bit skinnier brush to go around the edges. So, I'm going to get this one. This one's one I've been using before. It's got a little bit of extra stuff in here. Now, you could use um, any kind of glitter. I uh, really like microfine glitters, but I really wanted to use this today. And so, let me find one of my little cups to put that in. Now I'm just going to do it on the tray. Yeah, we'll do it on the tray. Um, I'm going to do this one first because it was it's been drying. These, if you um, have a Dollar Tree, these are the little packages of plastic shot glasses. These work perfect for projects. And my daughter thinks they're very cool. She loves them. So I'm just putting a little edge right there. I'll show you how wonderful this glitter is. I'm going to Is it that scrumptious? I love this. So, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue a bunch of these. Yes, I was reading what you said. Some of those little, those little tabby things um, for corners, corner page thingies. Those would look neat on there. Painting them colors like, um, you know, purples and pinks and stuff from my tree, I think would be fun. Or doing color, colored glitters on there. I think running some paper or cardstock through the embosser would be very cool with this project before you do the cones. My tray reminds you of, it's a Rocher tin. There, I'm 
I'm going to end up dumping all the glitter out anyway, so here we go. I'm not a very uh, neat glitterer. We always sparkle at my house. Your pets are sparkly. <laughs> Bill, my husband. Well, I've been working on projects and stuff. Of course, you know, if he comes to kiss me goodbye before he goes to work, inevitably I have glitter on my face. And so uh, the boys and girls at work always kid him that his wife works with glitter, you know, because, well, you know professions that use glitter, right? Besides crafting. Yeah. <laughs> so... They're like, oh, your wife works down the road, does she? He gave up trying to tell him I was crafty a long time ago. Between my daughter painting his tail, his toenails and stuff when he goes to sleep and me getting glitter all over him. They know we're weird. I just look at us and oh, it's the Stricklands. I think we need more glitter right here. How did it miss that glitter right there? Ooh, I just have a brilliant idea. Hang on. Let me see. This one is a little loose. I'm going to add a little glue under there while I'm here. There we go. Glue that puppy back down. Sparkly. <laughs> Do you really sparkle all that much, Lee? You should wear clothes when you craft Lee, and then you won't have problems with the sparkles. Okay. So I got that one glittered all around. It's very sparkly. I'm going to put this one aside. Hopefully not glue it down to something else. Okay. And we have this one with the extra floof in it. So, let's get started. Where do we want to start? Let's start over here. And I guess you could glitter these before you stuck them on here and just dip it. But what fun would that be? I mean, really. I think gluing it before you glue it, um, or gl glittering it before you glue it, I think it would interfere with your ability to to effectively get them stuck down. I don't know. Any thoughts on that? There we go. 
So. It might be easier to glue. I don't know. I'm having fun getting all the sparkly bits. I highly recommend having a spatula for gluing though. <laughs> he would have been a mess. Well, you know. But you would sparkle, and it would make it okay. Because it's okay to sparkle. We have glistening. Could do a couple of these back to back, a little bit bigger. Like, do a four inch square. And, uh, and do your do your um, rectangles a little bigger and I think that would make a gorgeous tree topper if you didn't do angels on your tree. We usually do a star or a bow on top of our tree. Yeah, there's there's tons of really neat um, projects. I like how substantial this ornament is. So you wouldn't have to have like a bajillion of them. You could you could make you know maybe fifteen for a tree and uh, really and put some like maybe some gold balls and some twinkle lights and. You know, almost cover a, a regular sized tree. Hi, Beck. I'm probably going to make some with the book paper, and um, I have, of course, in my stash of glitters, I have purple glitter and hot pink glitter and all that. And so maybe make some gold, some some of the other colors. So. I think it'll look very festive on our tree. I brought out some of the branches and some of the lights to to stage my my project from the first crafty gig of this month. And um, my daughter was very disappointed that we didn't put the whole tree up. I am loving this, guys loving this. Yeah, or just stress the edges. You could just do some inks and stuff. These are gorgeous. I don't know if you can see how gorgeous they are, but I mean, it's just stunning. Okay. 
before I sneeze and put glitter all over the place. Let me get my glitter back into its hole. Got a little bee hole. So I am looking for a little bee piece of paper. Here we go. I see I'm a pro at making cones now. Shimmer mist. Oh. Oh, yeah. Spray them with mist. Jim's the bomb diggity of ideas. Hi, Mommy. Mommy, I'm sending people to uh, your store to buy Sakura. Just so you know. And the Roche boxes do really, really good at uh, making glitter trays. Okay. I probably need a bigger hole than I put in there. You thought I was starting a really big star? I have a really big star. I have this star. The star is big. We could make it bigger though, Jim, couldn't we? Yeah, right? A really big star. Y'all are funny. I was trying to, uh, I'm going to have to, let's see if I can do this without making too big of a glitter mess. Here we go. Okay. It's a funnel! It's a really big star. Yes, we could use it year-round, Mommy. <laughs> it's almost as cool as poinsettias year-round. So, okay. So we have our, our stars. And see, it has just that little bitty star on the back. But look at this. Imagine if they both matched up as far as the height coming out. What a cool, big, chunky star that would make. Okay. So. Hi, Raven. I did not know Raven was in the his house. I'm going to make a quick little um, knot here. And for a string for these before I get too carried away. Hi, T. Clito Addison. Yes, definitely. Spritz it, glitter it, mist it, ink it. If you were doing like, oh, you know what would be gorgeous? Is if you were doing, you know, like the, the really dark reds and blues. Um, you could do them with, um, you know, kind of mist that on there and then do the gold. Okay, so here is this. Okay, and remember with these kinds of yarns and threads, you can take and there's a little lip right here. 
you put that in there and it holds it. Okay. Now, there are some giant buttons in here. See, we could put the button on and put the little collage piece on there. I know. These are very cha-cha buttons. Mommy carries these in the store. Love these. And again, to glue these pad boys on, um... I'm going to use some crystal lacquer and I'm going to find the Santa I like. This one's cool. This old Santa. I like him. Laughter makes your cheeks prettier. Tony, we are making um, these ornaments using cones that we made out of book paper and we glued them to a star and glittered them with nice lovely yummy German chunky glitter, glass glitter. And now we're going to take one of these monster buttons out of the um, out of the buttons galore bag and I've glued on a digi collage piece that I have punched out of let's see here it is out of this collage sheet this collage sheet is called holiday images it's got all kinds of images it's holiday images um, and it's AP 698 if you want to go purchase it um, it's from alteredpages.com and um, this one has all kinds of holidays, but it has the perfect sizes to make little one inch punches. And this one I'm going to put in the center of this. So what I'm trying to do is decide what to me says top. And I'm looking at my star. And I think this is the top on this one. I think, I think this one says top to me. Let's see if I can get that up. So I want him to go that way on there. Now, the example they gave, I think they used um, circles that they had punched out. And then they put initials in them. And that is a very cute idea, too. If you, That would be cute for, like, first, um, first Christmas gifts. Have, a, have an ornament with their their married initial on there or just because you like initials on your tree have an S tree for Strickland or an S tree for Samantha And then this, I may have to I need more glue. This needs more. Actually, what I may end up doing here is going with my beacon. The beacon may hold this just a little bit better. Let's see. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. I turn it over in the meantime. And <laughs> look at there. We said that was the top of our star. I guess that is the top. Yeah, we're going with beacon on this one. Okay. 
I'm going to put a blob o beacon. What part of the problem is, is this guy right here is not stuck down to the guy behind him. So we'll do that. And then, see if there's any other rogue cones in the bunch. But I'm going to I love three and one also. Cut a circle of book paper to mount. Meaning have a piece of book paper and then put it on there. Is that what you're asking or saying? Like that. Put that there. Okay. I'm still using this. <laughs> what Jim said and the three in one. towards the end of this bottle. Okay, come on. Yeah. It's at the end, and so... Come on. Any other time it would be oozing out. Ladies and gentlemen, three in one, taking its time. That's performance anxiety. Okay, I'm going to sit you over here while you decide to come on down. That's true. It's just right there. I can't see it. Jim and I are going to start sharing a brain. Okay. <laughs> I can't craft without Jim. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Jim, you're going to be there for Prima Night, right? <laughs> so, there we go. Now. And I'm going to use a button on the back just to hold my string on. I could use another piece of book paper punched out. Or I could use a button. And I think a button will be fun. I can use this one. Bye, Mommy. Tell Will to uh, check his email. Or his text. So, we have an ornament. See how handy that is? Ta-da! I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd want to miss a camp out. I just learned it today. 
So here's this. Now, I think what I want to do also besides this is I want to cut a book paper star. I think a book paper star would be pretty on the back um, to just dress it up on the back. Thanks, Carrie. And the way I'm going to do that is um, I'm going to grab grab some lacquer. And the reason I'm holding this up to paint it is because I want to make sure I cover a star. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. And what you could do is glue some book paper down to, or whatever paper you want to use, down to your paper before you ran it through the printer if it was really thin. Or you could, um, you could just print right on the paper depending on it. Your frightful affair cartridge. Are you talking cricket? Usually what I do with lightweight paper, like tissue paper, is I glue down the side that's going to go into the printer, and then the rest of it just follows behind just fine. I know I make people cringe when I do that. But I've done it tons and tons and tons. Yes, I don't sharp, see. I, I Sizzix. So far, I haven't found an electronic die cutter that I want. <coughs> I am. Um, I decided I wanted to put the book paper star back here, and I wanted to go ahead and mount it on the uh, another piece of cardstock just to give it a little extra stability. Very cool. Let's to turn one more direction right there. I think that looks better. So, I like that one. So, love going on my tree. Okay, and then this one, let's go ahead before we get too far down the road. Stick us another piece of, do I have it? I don't have it glued down, but it would fit right here. Raven, can't you use the gazelle to cut out your own images? Isn't that what you were telling me? I think Raven said it cuts chipboard too. I'm so excited for Halloween. I don't know what we're doing this year. I'm just excited for Halloween. I 
excited for Halloween decorating. I think I'm in about four or five swaps, or not swaps, but hops for Halloween related themes starting in August or October, no, September. September. We have lots of them. Now, I can see there are some places here that need some some extra glue. I'm going to put that in there too. Give it just that little extra support. No, it's not altered pages. It's an altered blog hop, but it's for um, Sakura. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I've got the altered pages one wrong. No, the altered pages one is the one where we just link up, isn't it? I'm so confused. Y'all may be right. Ignore me. I've had a little sleep this week. I've had too much overstimulus. Let's see. I want to. This is my top today. This one right here. Uh oh. Sakura's, yeah. Sakura is doing an altered blog hop. Yeah, all things altered. I didn't know there was other link up on there, Jen. Is there? Because I finished my post and I don't recall there being that information. I need to go fix my post. That is the case. I know Altered Pages is talking about a linked up one that they want to do, and that one's going to work a little different. I'm sorry, guys, I can't stop and log back in. One, I've got gluey fingers, but I'm afraid I'll lose the chat if I do because it's it was that kind of difficult getting logged in tonight. But I believe that one starts at the Crystal Lacquer blog, which is crystallacquer.blogspot.com. And this is my project. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is her project. It is not my project for that. Silly girl. It's not my project for that. And this button has a back on it, so instead of putting a piece of paper... Ow. I'm going to just put a big lop of, of lacquer there. Really, really. And yes, we have been joined by the Sam Lamantha. She. Uh, Don't tell it. She ran through the living room here. 
because I needed to go potty. Shh, you didn't have to tell everybody. We didn't care. So, yes, a princess. I'm not a princess! She's fancy pants. Is a fancy pants. Everybody says hi, Sam. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I have a big snot glue going on here, guys. Get that to stay. This would be where your hot glue gun would be handy. <laughs> Who likes purple? We all like purple. Yes, she loves purple. She loves pink. So, there we go. I think it's going to stay. I love that. These are very cha-cha. Move, move these over to the side. We could make another. Y'all want to make another? Let's make another. Look, I've got gold buttons. Let's make another and put a gold button in it. Or are y'all ornamented out? See, we got more paper. Or some glimmer mist. Yeah. I've got, ooh, I've got some. What have I got? I've got some mist we could use. We have to make some more of these, though. Well, bye, Lee. Next week is first Friday, so I will not be here. But we will be doing, um, I will be doing reboot next week. I could. I could indeedy. Well, toodles, have fun with your girlfriends. be clean. Don't change on our account. <laughs> I guess it would be on their account, wouldn't it? I have an idea. Let's try building this with glittering it before um, before we build it. And we'll mist it also. We'll mist it after we build it. Leave her alone. Thanks, Don. Be sure to check out my blog. I'll have the replay and the pattern 
and some pictures of these. Check out mommy's site. Pick up some Lekka. What are you doing? Making cones. For ornaments. So, Mr. Jim, how is Mr. Gordon tonight? Is he backseat crafting again? Reading about Doctor Who? Cool. This wheels do. Huh? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, this week's Entertainment Weekly. Sorry. <laughs> I was going, eh? Did I mention I don't watch real TV? <laughs> We just don't have time, especially during the school year with all the kids' functions. And like I said, if it's something we really want to see, most of them we uh, can either catch on the internet or like, like Bill likes The Walking Dead. And so you can buy the season from YouTube or iTunes like you can for... Um, I guess, I don't know if you can buy the season for Craft Wars, but you can, uh, you can buy the, uh, whatchamacallit, yeah, I know about Doctor Who, I know what Doctor Who is, I can watch Doctor Who on Netflix. Well, not not only do I get to craft, I get to spend time with my kids and and if we're not doing their school stuff, we're reading or you know playing with each other and it's just it's an expense we don't need and it's time wasted that I could be you know being in their lives so not glued down to the television. Yeah, I, I can I can watch that. And like tonight, after a little bit, 50 bucks. I'm not going to spend 50 bucks. I'll spend two bucks and watch Craft Wars. <laughs> I'll, watch, I'll watch Lisa and Andrea. <laughs> and I'll listen to the recaps of everybody else's and go, oh, wow, I bet that was great. Yeah, I, I saw that where they were auctioning off the playhouse at CHA. They said that was pretty cool. I hope it brought some good money.
just got a very cool tool for my um, my craft shows that I do. I just got the little white square that you stick into your phone to take credit cards. And uh, I'm very excited to get to use that soon. got several craft shows coming up this fall and I think that will put us in a different category of, of playa. So I'm looking forward to breaking that puppy out and, and using it. It looks easy to use, Carrie. It looks very easy to use. And mom picked up one and she said that it goes into your, um, it says two to three business days, she said, but it loads into their accounts that night. So, and you're only charged as you use it, not like an annual or a monthly fee. So, I've used um, my PayPal just invoicing people that wanted stuff, like people I knew, if they wanted to buy several things and wanted to charge it, I could invoice them to my email and they would pay with a credit card. And, you know, that was handy for people I knew, but for people who, you know, come into shows and stuff that I don't know. Very cool, Jim. I'll have to go find your Zentangle. I love Zentangles. I am not certified Zentangle artist. I will be one day, I think. But I am a Tangle artist. I do Zia, Zia's is what I call it. Zentangle inspired art. And Carrie makes me feel like a rock star, so. <clears throat> I have it. I haven't created too many major faux pas, I don't think, in the name of Zentangle yet. It's the one found. Oh. Thanks, Carrie. I enjoy it. How many of these do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, can she count to big numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. Hot darn. Look at that. That went really quick. That look, took ten minutes. Oh, wait a minute. We were going to glitter them first, weren't we? Hang on. Hold the phone. Let's glitter first. Oh, these are very sturdy now. Cool. Okay. All right. Glitter and dip. Glitter and dip. What did I do with my glitter? If you were glitter, you would be right here. There we go. Ready? Oh, thanks, Jen. Y'all are very kind. I've got some cool stuff coming up with my tangles one day soon. Well, not soon, but one day in the near future. Hopefully I'll get to share that with you. I can't share it yet. But it's it's in the works. Samantha, stop. Okay. Now. Do you not think that this would not be too cute with like a little ribbon and maybe some little flowers and hanging all over like a mini tree. <laughs> that is too precious. Me? Tease? Carrie? 
No, I would never tease. Let me just say that if you had told me at the beginning of the year that the year I'm having was the year I was going to have, I would have told you, uh-uh. <laughs> and it's just, it's just been a fabulous year so far. And it's only half over. And wow, I am, I'm on teams that I am loving. I, uh, I get to do what I love. I'm just having a good time. And, uh, and that's just, that's just too much fun. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate that. I put up a video today showing the book. Those of you who've come to my show have seen the book. But, um, I got a video together for, for Jean over at Altered Pages. So, that's on there. So you can go see it. It's on my pin board too. If you go look at the altar book kits that have, it's on the top row of my, of my pin board. You can go see the little video showing all the different things. Ta-ta! I... I'm just really happy with the little cones with glitter. They're very cute. Who knew glitter would make someone so happy? Jeez. Amanda, if you're watching this on replay, yes, honey, it's glitter, and I'm sorry. Amanda has glitter phobia. You should work through glitter phobia. Glitter phobia is, is nonsensical. Ooh, look at the edge of that one. How nice and, and rumpledy it is. Isn't that cool looking? Glitter and bling are good. Yes, they are. Raven, did you see on my blog my, my blinged out ornaments? I used some of my want to scrap bling on. I really like my ornaments. Really. Really, really, really. I made... I forgot how many I ended up making. I got... I got a, about 12 light shields made. And then I made... I've got three big ones that are all blinged out. And then I've got probably... Oh, half a dozen little ones blinged out. I need to get some more big water bottles. I know I've got everybody saving trash. Y'all are going to kill me, aren't you? Well, next month is August. It's almost around the corner here. I'm going to do... I'm going to do one show. I think my first show in August. Um, I'm going to do, like, quick and easy little gifts. Um, you could use it for teacher gifts, but you could also use it um, down the road for stocking stuffers and stuff. Um, or little things to have. Well, thank yous, that kind of stuff. <laughs> if I have a new career making ornaments and light covers, I could do it. I I like doing those. Those are very fun and easy. My daughter made some. She hasn't finished blinging hers. Um, I didn't show hers in my post because she had uh, she brought in other products other than Sakura to do hers, some different glitters and stuff. 
but hers are very pretty and then she's got to get some bling on them. So we had fun doing those. She'll have fun doing this. We'll probably do some of this together this weekend. So I see if I can get, you know, a dozen or so. What I need to do is make a dozen, 15 to a dozen. Because if I make a dozen, then I could keep nine for my tree. And then one of my girlfriends had a lot of her favorite ornaments destroyed um, in a horrible accident. And the, her shed got a big, huge leak, and she didn't realize it. And most of her stuff was destroyed. And so last year, we took a bunch of ornaments to her. Um, that we had made, but I was going to bring her another, another set of ornaments, so I could send her some like that, and then, um, and have you know six of things to send to her. So, because her her birthday is Christmas time, and so these were these were not just ornaments, but these were gifts and stuff that people had given her for her birthday for years and years and years to come and so it was very sad but but she likes her new ornaments because I made her some owls last year those entangled owls uh, the toilet tissue covers those are very cute all over trees and they're great for hiding little goodies in Now, I'm going to glimmer mist this, or not glimmer mist, but I'm going to make some mist. I'm going to show you how to make some mist. Um, and I'm going to mist this, but what color do we want to mist it? I was thinking of a gold with a little bit of a brown in it, um, so it would look antique with this lovely gold. What do y'all think? Well, good night. Have fun. You like the idea of the gold with the brown? Okay, so we'll have the little gifts that you can use for thank yous or teacher gifts or whatever. And then the second crafty gig will be um, a mica powder thing. I'll show you all kinds of neat tips and tricks and we'll do some tags with, um, with mica powders. And I'll show you with Pearl X and then for comparison I'll even let you see what it does with the uh, with like the Terry Sprout mixers, okay? So August is going to be a crazy month. Um, first week of the month, no Friday show. Second weekend or second week of the month, um, we'll have a a reboot probably early in the week, like Monday or Tuesday. I'll have my Prima show on Thursday and Scrappy Gig on Friday. And then we'll have Reboot and Crafty Gig the third week. I know, it's going to be crazy, but it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get my stuff in and craft the... Uh, See, I get to craft a sample, so there will be a sample up so y'all can see the class. We're going to do a, a steampunk mini album using the um, summer steampunk mini album using the craftsman kit and some really cool embellies with that. 
I need a little more sequoia. Somehow, that's somehow in the midst of all this, I have to get a couple of projects together for, um, for publication calls because I'm trying, trying to get some stuff in a magazine. That was that was actually my goal this year was to do that. And instead of getting that accomplished, I'm getting all kinds of other stuff accomplished. But I had goals, people. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it is exciting if I can get it done. Um, see, last year, last year, my goal, my craft goal was just do it. Get it, you know, get on a design team and, and be doing the, the thing. And so... Yeah, I talked to my family and said, this is what I want to do. This is the year I've got to see if I can do this. And I did it. And I love it. And I started Crafty Gig and um, and did a lot of cool stuff with The Odd Show. We started The Odd Show last year. And, you know, it's just been a phenomenal experience. And then so my goal this year was to get on a stamping team, which I have. Um, to get on a paper team, which I'm not on a paper team yet, but I want a paper team. I've been trying out for paper teams. Somebody's going to put me on a paper team one day. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on the paper team, um, you know, I've joined Alt Pages, which is phenomenal. I love that experience very much my style. Um, I love the whole altered thing. And uh, yes, there are lots to choose from. But see, Jim, that's the thing, is I want to be on a team whose product I love, love, love. And, you know, that's why it's been so easy being on the Sakura team. It's because I was using Sakura before I was on the team. I love Sakura. I love everything about it. I love how it's just, you know, a super duper glue, how I can gloss my little eyes. I love it. It makes it easy to be on a team like that. Um, it's harder to be on a team where you feel stifled and you don't feel, you know, jazzed up to, to do some crafting for people. So, so I couldn't be on any paper team and Actually, one of the paper teams I tried out for was a new one that I had never seen their product before. And I was a little apprehensive, but then I was relieved when I was selected. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? You know, you think, oh, I need to be on a paper team and I'm going to try this. And, you know, I've, I've done the try something new thing and it's okay. You know, it's fun. But I need something that just blows my skirt up and some of them don't. So, fortunately, the ones who do, um, their calls are, are later. So, I still have a couple of teams that are later in the year. And, and hopefully, those will prove beneficial. Or, um, or the, uh, the other thing is the, the gig I'm about to go down. Um, it might prove beneficial. I'm going to make this one like I did the first one because I only want to use the 20 um, things. So I'm going to make it closer in here. So. And then um, the Digi Design Company that I've been with since the beginning, since last February, a year ago February. Um, I'm loving that every day and I've got more and more responsibility there and that's very cool and I love that opportunity that Wendy has given me there and she keeps making such stinking cute designs and I keep wanting to there, there's no end in sight there for me I, I love everything she's putting out so I'm enjoying that okay
All right, here we go. Adding the second layer. Y'all hanging with me while we finish this one? This one won't take very long to finish. Because we all know we want to spritz it, right? We want to see it with some glimmer. I'm glad y'all like come into these. That makes me very happy. Because I enjoy doing it. See, I'll talk anymore. Let's refresh. Ah, here we are. Yes, I think this would be a great way to use scraps up. carry. Make one of these and then zentangle a little medallion to stick right there. That would be gorgeous. That would be gorgeous. And see, I just love stars anyway, so... Having stars around me is always a bonus. There we go. Alright, so there's going to need to be a little, you know, squeezing and gluing in there a little bit. Let's see. There we go. I like that. Alright. I have a gluber mess right here. Hang on. Making it worse. I wanted to get it off my piece of cork. So instead, I spread it around my cork. No. Seem like Louie hands. Okay. Ooh, an aura knot would be nice. Yeah, that new star tangle, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? Okay. That one just has water in it. And I'm grabbing a re -inker. I think I'm grabbing a re -inker. I'm going to get frayed, frayed burlap re -inker. And then I'm going to get my gold, my gold pearl. Right? Let's see. Perfect gold. Okay. This has water, just water. And frayed burlap, sorry. Frayed burlap. 
Yeah, I think it did. Um, you know how the last time it had a couple of places that needed some extra love? It, it'll probably have that too. But having it glittered is really going to be handy for misting it. Because then I don't have to wait for it to dry and then glitter it and all that. Um, and then all the edges are nice and glittered. So it just made, and being able to dip it made the edges easier. You know what I mean? So, yes, I suppose you could stickle it, Jim. But you know what? I don't own stickles. Now pick yourself up off the chair or off the floor, but I don't. My mommy bought some stickles, and I kept looking at them because, you know, a couple years ago, it was the thing to have. Everybody had stickles. And um, she said, don't worry, I will give you mine because I do not want it, which should have been my first red flag. And I said, okay, sure, give me yours, Mom. And I tried it, and she was right. I didn't like it because it would never dry. It is a glitter glue. It's it's really concentrated glitter. And when it comes out, it, it comes out looking very similar to this. And it comes in a bajillion of colors. Um, but it's very, it never seems to dry. Never seems to dry. Okay. I have a little bit too much water. I'm going to pour a little water out. Okay. So I poured a little water out. You see? All right. I want it kind of light. So I'm going to put about um, four, five, six. I like six drops. Six drops looks good. And then, but it's, it's different than glitter glue. It's not like just, you know, glitter glue like you would buy at, um, did y'all see me almost open that upside down? Okay. Um, it's not like glitter glue like you would buy at the craft store. It's very, very concentrated. It's it's hard to explain, but it's not worth the pain. Okay, this is Pearl, or not Pearl X. This is Perfect Pearls. How this is different than Pearl X is that it has a binding agent in it. This is also how it is different than Terry Sprawl Mixers. It has a binding agent in it. Um, for a binding agent, things like gum arabic would be an example of a binding agent. Okay, I have put powder in there. Now I'm going to stick this in here. Now I'm going to shake, 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 and I'm going to do this. Now, what is important about the binding agent? Yes, you could stick mixers in here with water and re-inker, and you would have a lovely, sparkly, smeary mess. Smeary being the keyword. Let me do this for a minute. But instead, with something with a binding agent, it will, um, come on, focus. It will stick to your paper. Okay. See how sparkly that is. Well, you could see the sparkle before. Come on. There's a sparkle to it. Okay. So I'm going to take this. Ooh. And as it dries, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Can you see the glitter? And when it dries completely, it won't rub off. The sparkle will stay with the paper. Okay? Because that's the difference between the Pearl X and the, the Perfect Pearls. Perfect Pearls is what you want to do this with. If you don't have Perfect Pearls and all you have are mica powders, you can still do it, but get some gum arabic to stick in there and shake it up. Okay? Alright, so... I want to mist this a little bit because I don't want to mist it too hard. OK. 
kind of getting in the holes. Okay. And I have, because I have learned with the screw, have your heat tool ready. And I like the drippies that I've got going on this. I'm okay with that. Um, if I didn't like them, I could, you know, block them up a little bit. But I like it on this a little bit. I think it's going to look interesting. Okay, this is wicked awesome. Let me get this one drop to dot dry here. I'm gonna dry as quick as I want to be. I need to add a spot I want to add some glue to while I'm doing this. Let's add some glue here and here. Add some glue there. Yeah, I I won a smooch spray. Mom is checking in to um, see if her person who she, her distributor, see if she can get like those sets of smooch spray. Um, if she does that, she's going to carry it in the store for me. I love that. Okay. Can y'all see the gold? It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. See it? Uh huh. That's awesome. Love that. Very cool. Okay. Almost cool that I want to cover this up. <laughs> Spray that. <laughs> you know, but I like it. I think it would be cool with some light ones and some dark ones. So, let me do that. And then this one. Let's see what we have, y'all. Yes, sheet music will look gorgeous. I like that button. I have this curly button, too. That might would look good layered. But I like this button better. I'm gonna go with that button. Which one do you like better? The pink the one with the pearl on it? Is that what you were oh cool into? You like the pearly one? That one? It's a smaller button. So, I have to cut the back off of this and glue it. But something like that. I want to do that. Like that. Okay. When I cut the back off of this, I'm going to use my Tim Holtz scissors. But when doing that, this will easily pop out of here. So I'm going to glue, glue, glue. Okay. Make sure it's out of the way.
goodness gracious. Let me find another one of those. It's not as... Let's try this again without so much glue. Well, what we could do, Jen, to antique that up a little bit, is I mean, this is this is water based. It's not going to do as good as say um, alcohol inks. Darkened it a little bit. Okay. Blue blobbers. Alright, let's try this again. Great googly moogly. Okay, there we go. My goodness. You gotta love it when your three in one decides to have a brain of its own. Now, the rest of the glue blob are off. These will go straight into the soak. Get all this glue off of them. I think that looks beautiful. Genius! So there you go. Three gorgeous, gorgeous snowflake flowers. I love them. Thanks for crafting with me, guys. I love it when we experiment and take it up a notch. I feel very very emerald of crafting today. Blam! Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you for spending your time with me, Christine, uh, doing Christmas crafting in July. Um, I promise I'm not going to craft from July all the way to Christmas, um, on Christmas only. I will continue with my other holidays and my other you know, just normal kinds of crafts. So, um, this is, this is our last stream for July. I hope everybody starts to cool off for those of you who are in the hot weather. Uh, remember buttons and glues and all kinds of fun stuff available at cutandpastememories.com. It's my mommy's store. I do Leslie Ray's Crafty Gig every second and fourth Friday of the month at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. You can follow me on my blog at leslieray.blogspot.com, on my fan page, Leslie Ray's fan page, or on Twitter. Um, I will not be here next Friday, but I will be back on the second Friday, and uh, we will be doing little gift items. And then the Odd Show Daily is on a short break 
for the month of August. They'll be back in September. We will still be doing the weekly reboots. Uh, next week's reboot, I believe, is scheduled for Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern in the Paper Mood Craft Room. I will um, be glad to see you there. And then um, coming up in October, we have the Odd Show Live World Card Making Extravaganza. We will be streaming all day long, like our scrapbook thing. We've got some prizes we're getting together. Hopefully soon we'll be announcing our philanthropy that we're going to be raising money for. And that is all I've got, folks. I will post as soon as the newsletter goes out for Prima, the Prima dates and times and the links. So everybody have that. And I appreciate all of you. Thank you for coming and joining me. Have a lovely weekend. And I will see you in a couple of weeks, guys. Thank you.